Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we will we'll see about the views in Code Igniter, and we will also try to show the results in the view which would be fetched from our model. And in the upcoming video, we'll also connect with the database and manipulate the view. So let's start. This was a thing which we created in a previous tutorial. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, create a controller first. So create a controller and just save it by suppose user underscore details dot php now I would write a class user underscore details which extends ci underscore controller so if you are not familiar with what I'm doing you can just watch the previous videos and come back again here so firstly I'll write a function index so if I don't write public it's by default public and here let's test it by echoing something so here I have user underscore details index.php slash user underscore details so it gives me a test which we printed here so how to remove this index.php I'll tell you in the upcoming videos for now let's uh, move further now here what I would do is I would just load a view so to load any view we have to write dollar this load view and the name of the view which would be like user view you don't have to specify dot php here just write user view and in the applications folder you also have a views folder just you have to do one thing you have to create a file name the same what view mentioned there in the controller which you loaded in this view and now let's test it by echoing I am view for user details okay now in this view let's show a table normal table with some tr tags and this would be a serial number and username username and here we will fetch the data of a particular user as code so if you see this in a browser you would have this kind of feeling okay so here the okay now what I will do is I would create a control uh, a model and in this model I would uh, I would be using user model dot PHP from this model I'm going to pass the data to my controller and from my controller to the view so this would be like my class name without dot PHP extends C underscore model okay and here I would be having my function which would written users and 
this would basically return me the array and in the array I would be having some user name and this would be like Akshay and this would uh, be another way company solution cone so this is basically an array which is been written from the written users function and to use this model I would do the same thing like this load model and the name of the model which is my user underscore model and to use the methods inside this model you have to write this user model and inside that there is a function name written users okay so this is returning me an array so I'll store it in a variable like user array and or let me show you how to pass data you can just store it in a data user array by creating a key user array and you can just pass the data to the view as dollar data now in the view you can just use it let me show you if you want to use it uh, you can use it with the key name so here echo uh, pre tag inside that pre tag it would be much formatted and easy to understand let's print underscore r the key name so you can see that uh, quite very easily this is an array which is written from the model to my controller and to uh, my view from the controller so this is the basic flow which we get in an any of the MVC pattern so the model now currently I have stored I have just written the static array which I have defined uh, defined it um, currently but uh, in then in our next video will we would do this in a dynamic way by creating a database for it so I have my username and a company okay so here is my table and I want the you uh, the result to be shown here so the serial name would be one and I have to show username as well as company in my table so I would make another th and a td and here as I know that I have the variable user array with me in the entire view <coughs> I can do that here like let's echo user array with username So this would print my username by the way if you don't know this is the shorthand for dollar php echo so instead of writing doll uh, question mark php and echo you can use the particular shorthand okay and in the similar fashion we would be getting out of the company name which is this okay
now let's close this pre tag and you can see that this results are fetched and our table has been created so so views are something which the user sees and in this video you must have learned how to pass data from model to controller and how to consume data in your views from controller so this is very important if you want a recap I just recap it very quickly what I have done is I have created a controller named user details and it loads a view which is a user view and inside that view I have to pass the data of users so for fetching the data of users I have created a user model and in that I have a function named written underscore users which returns me an array of the particular user or users so I have fetched that array here currently I have written on only a single array you can also return array of arrays now in this line of code this thing this user model written users this will return me an array which has two keys a username which stores a value Akshay and a company which stores a value solution cone so this is what I have stored in my variable uh, in my array data array by creating a key user array so in view I have passed this data uh, dollar data and in my view I can use it by the key names so this is what I have done if you have any doubts please mention it in the comment section thank you for watching guys in the next video we'll see about the database connections and fetching the results using the database thank you